Hello everyone, welcome to Crusaders 2127. This is going to be a little controversial. Um, as I've done a little bit of research on what this could possibly be, but this is a question posted by somebody, or not really a question, but a conversation posted by somebody in a forum. And I wanted to get some more um, confirmation on it, as well as I wanted to pose a couple of questions about an oil tanker. Um, so give me just a minute here. This is by a person who doesn't post this kind of stuff. They don't post anything like this. I mean, that's what's, that's what's just kind of like bringing it to, like, I don't know how to explain it. Let me just, let me just read the story to you. Um, airman calls home to warn parents, prepare yourselves. They are coming. I'm not a fear monger or a doom tard by any means. Just thought I would put this out there just in case. This afternoon, I received a call from a dear friend who has a child in the air force. She sounded a little strange. And I went, uh, and when I asked her if she was okay, she said, I'm not sure what to make of the phone call I just got from blank. Maybe you can shed some light on this since you were in the military, she proceeds to say. The past few weeks, blank has been doing a lot of partying and posting pictures of drinking, etc., which means that she wouldn't be too high level, the, the airman. It would be, I could be wrong, but you know, I'm just trying to say that. As a parent, uh, you don't want to see your child making bad decisions, so we have had some words about it. Our conversations have been tense and very brief lately. Today, she calls me and I can sense she has something to say, and I finally ask what is going on. Do you need to tell me something? Her child then starts crying and apologizes for past behavior, etc. Child, um, Mom, we had a, a debriefing this morning. This was posted uh, today at 1.30 a.m. Uh, no, excuse me, yesterday at 1.30 a.m. at 9.9, uh, September 9th. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of taking every, every option in as to what the hell is going on. Because it's it's clear something is something's amiss. Not just with this, something's amiss with our country, and um, the potential attacks. So let me let me read this. Mom, we had a debriefing this morning. I need you and Dad to prepare yourselves and the rest of our family. Something is going on. Something is going to happen. Mom, are you going to be deployed overseas? War? Child? No. We are not going anywhere. They are coming here. They're probably already here. Uh, that just that right, that right there raised a red flag with ISIS and the, and the southern border. Mom, who is they? Child, I can't say anything else. I can't discuss this any further. Just stay safe and don't freak out. Be smart and safe. She then starts talking about ports, cargo ships, and the coastlines. This airman is an MP nuclear detail. Stay safe, everyone. P.S. Sorry, I can't provide a link to this conversation, clearly. Um... I found it a bit alarming, and I'm not trying to be a fear monger by posting this, but I was just beginning to wonder about cargo ships and, and the coastlines. And then I was beginning to think about the one of the biggest parts of, of our electric grid is close to Texas or in Texas. I can't remember. It's too late for me to look it up. It's I'm too tired. But I just thought this was really strange that she mentioned cargo ships. Because you guys remember this? This was posted eight days ago. Now, notice this tanker disappeared, vanished for a while, and all of a sudden it reappears eight days ago. I didn't actually, I mean, I, I think I reported on this, but I don't, I don't really think I took it as serious as I probably should have, because this is close to Iraq. This is getting weird. Close to Texas, there's a ton of stuff with this. Now, they're saying that the tanker is obviously still full. It's about 95% full. Uh, disputed Kurdish oil tanker reappears off Texas coast, still full. A tanker carrying disputed Iraqi Kurdish crude oil reappeared on satellite tracking on Monday near Texas, days after have going, having gone silent. What the hell? No, Nothing goes silent. I'm sorry, nothing goes silent. With a $100 million cargo, especially not with a $100 million cargo. But the latest uh, vessel data showed it had not offloaded at sea. According to AIS ship tracking data used by the U.S. Coast Guard and Reuters, the United Cal Calverta, which has been in limbo for weeks, was still 95% full. Its would-be U.S. buyer has balked, had uh, a taking delivery of the cargo, and Baghdad has filed a lawsuit in a U.S. court saying exports by the Kurdistan, Kurdistan regional government are illegal. The KRG argues they are allowed under the Iraqi constitution. Okay, well we know what's going on in Iraq. 
The fact that this disappeared recently is not my only question, but that an identical story came out on March 2000, or March 2011, March 3rd, as being reported by Reuters, a ship laden with cargo consisting of Libyan crude oil is parked off the coast of Texas and Louisiana and unable to discharge such cargo because it may cause a violation of the recently imposed U.S. sanctions against Libya. Um, as far as the details of this, I'm not trying to say that the same, but it's very odd to me that I googled uh, an oil tanker off the coast, coast of Texas, and this popped up first, and then that popped up first. When this is dated 2011, that's dated 2014. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just, it's just weird. It's just really weird. I wanted to raise a question. Um, if anybody has any people in the military, uh, do, do we know what's going on? Because that's that's a really good question to ask right now. It's because we're a day away from 9-11, and everybody's jumping. Everybody's jumpy as hell. Which means to me that there's something odd taking place. Whether it be spiritually, whether it be physically, whether it be um, with ISIS, we don't know. Well, honestly, we don't know, but there's something amiss. And I just find this really strange. And I hate not posting strange things because, you know, I want to figure it out. But this is just weird. Now, granted, there's obviously there's a, there's a port there. And, oh, well, there's, there are ships go there all the time. But ships don't get stuck. And they certainly, certainly don't go missing, especially $100 million dollars. However, our, uh, I think it's the feds that are really bad at keeping track of money. But oil is a little bit more value because we all know that they know and we know that the paper money doesn't mean anything. Oil does. Anyways, um, just a little strange. wanted to bring it to your attention. I wanted to um, just raise a question if anybody knows anything about it uh, that I haven't found or that I haven't done enough research on, please leave your comments below. Uh, obviously, we're still trying to figure the mystery out before 9-11. That way we can be prepared for it. They're mentioning a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of electrical grid. And that, unfortunately, is sitting right in the middle. Not directly right in the middle of the United States, but close enough to it to where it could, you know, strike. I find these things quite odd, and I find them disturbing. So I'm going to keep doing research on this. I'm going to keep going through it all. Uh, let me know what you guys find. God bless. Be safe. Take it easy. 2127news.net. Check it out.